Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the cooler things you may not have noticed in your favourite games. In today's video, we get called a traitor in Call of Duty 2, we talk to ourselves in Prince of Persia The Two Thrones, and we try to annoy some cops in Max Payne 2. As always, if you think you know the detail that I'm yet to cover, then the best place to let me know is in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and if you are enjoying Enjoying this series, then a like is really appreciated. Before we get started, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, AFK Arena. Featuring a unique and beautiful art style, AFK Arena combines rich lore and deceptively simple gameplay to create a very addictive experience. Oh, and you now have the ability to play as this guy. Yep, one of the Assassin's Creed series' most iconic characters is now playable in AFK Arena. Use Ezio to tackle AI enemies in AFK Arena's PvE mode, or take Ezio online to battle it out against other players. It's entirely up to you. Of course, there are plenty of other characters to choose from, including a spell-casting mage and a health-hoarding tank, so it's down to you to find the right character that fits your playstyle. To check out AFK Arena for yourself and help support my channel in the process, check the links in the description or my pinned comment and download AFK Arena today. Remember, every download helps me out a lot, so be sure to check out AFK Arena today and let me know what you think. Once again, a big thank you to AFK Arena for sponsoring this video, and let's get started. So in the last episode of this series, we covered some really cool details from the excellent Ghost of Tsushima, including the way that Jin can get very, very dirty. Now I know those details are impressive, but for some reason, I think this next detail from Sony's latest first party success is even cooler. Ghost of Tsushima has some of the coolest looking weather effects in video games, and that's not only in terms of visuals. When lightning is seen in the distance, the sound of thunder isn't immediately heard. Instead, just like real life, you have to wait for the sound to reach your ears. Here, allow me to demonstrate. So as I said, not only does the lightning look damn impressive, but Sucker Punch even nailed the sound effects to go along with it. Another really cool sound related detail can be seen, or should that be heard, in Mafia 3. We've already covered a couple of games that feature a static effect when driving through a tunnel, the most notable of those being Just Cause 4. Justice is in our society! Bien? Bien. As long as someone continues to pay us. Do you feel better, Tiago? Si, sí, si, sí, I do. While I personally think the effect heard in Mafia 3 is my favourite so far, though that may be because the song that's playing is so damn good. Watching the ships roll in, then I watch them roll away. I don't know why, but I really love this effect, so I'd love to know which other games have it too. Next up is a really cool detail from a game that released a whopping 15 years ago. Call of Duty 2 was the first game I owned on the Xbox 360, and one thing that I remember about the game is being extremely impressed with the game's smoke physics, which is kind of strange as the game itself is fantastic. Anyway, enough about 15 year old smoke, let's get to the detail. At the very beginning of the game, you are being trained by Commissar Letlev. Your first order is to go and retrieve your guns from a nearby house. Pretty simple stuff. Well, if you decide to ignore the commissaire, this will happen. Don't test my patience, Vasily. This is your last chance, comrade. Traitor! 
so the commissaire has no patience for time wasters it seems and decides to shoot you himself. So here is a game that I bet you didn't think you'd be seeing in a YouTube video in 2020. Prince of Persia The Two Thrones is another game that was released in 2005. The Two Thrones takes place after the events of The Warrior Within and sees the sands of time affecting the prince's mind, causing the appearance of an alter ego known as the Dark Prince. Well if you leave the prince idle for too long, the Dark Prince will begin to get impatient. <laughs> now, where is that vizier? Time's wasting. Up next is the excellent Max Payne 2, which was also released in 2005. Okay, it was actually 2003, but I bet you believe me for a second. Max Payne 2 continues the depressing tale of the New York detective as he is reinstated to the force after the events of the first game. In typical Remedy fashion, Max Payne 2 isn't all doom and gloom, and a lot of the humour comes from the game's dialogue and interacting with the world around you. Take this next clip for example. You find yourself in the police station with some time to kill. Why not head to the break room and see what your colleagues are up to? We're watching that. And now, Lords and Ladies continues. Get out of the way, Payne. Mama, I tried to stop him, but he is beyond reason. Hey, we were watching that. Asshole. Mistress, the harlot. She is no... Good. So if you have a brother or sister, I'm sure this has happened to you in the past, though I don't think it's wise that Max does it to men carrying guns. Up next, let's take a look at Devolver Land Expo, the self-titled first-person marketing simulator. Devolver Land Expo takes place inside an abandoned convention centre where you can visit displays and watch trailers from up-and-coming Devolver digital games. It's actually a pretty cool idea and a great way to familiarise people with your upcoming games. Devolver Land also has some pretty cool details to find, starting off with the t-shirt cannon. The t-shirt cannon is your only form of combat in the game well, until the very end anyway. You use the t-shirt cannon to temporarily disable robots so that you can sneak past. But what if you want to use the cannon as it was intended? Well, if you shoot any of the red mannequins found in the convention center, they will get themselves a snazzy new t-shirt. The next detail from Devolver Land involves the signs you can find in the convention centre itself. Many of the signs read as you'd expect, but some of them do have very funny messages on them. Here are a few of my favourites. So in episode 12 of this series, we saw what happened when you left Spongebob alone for too long in the Battle for Bikini Bottom remake. Well, a lot of you pointed out that it wasn't just a Spongebob meme that got a nod. Patrick got one too. If you leave Patrick alone for long enough, he will do this. So the surprised Patrick face first appeared in the Spongebob Squarepants movie that was released in 2004. And just like Chicken Spongebob, surprised Patrick has been used in countless memes ever since. So sticking with the idea of doing nothing, let's take a look at a cool detail in Call of Cthulhu. The RPG survival horror game sees you take on the role of Edward Pierce, a private investigator in 1924 Boston. Now with the game being a survival horror game, a lot of your time will inevitably be spent in the dark, so bringing a lighter along could prove to be pretty useful. Just make sure that you don't hold on to it for too long, otherwise this will happen. So it actually took a lot longer to burn Edward's hand than I thought it would, which makes me wonder how many people have actually experienced this cool detail while playing the game themselves. So I've mentioned before that Hitman 2 has become somewhat of a regular in this series, and I think that's because whenever I share a detail from the game, you guys then suggest 10 more. It's the same thing that happened with Mafia 2. Today's Hitman 2 detail can be found on the Mumbai level. If you head to the sewers, you may find that you leave with more than just poo-covered shoes.
So for the rest of the level, a swarm of flies will follow 47 around Mumbai, presumably because he smells so bad. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then a like is really appreciated. If you're a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. A big thank you to Bundal Derwang for telling me about the Prince of Persia detail, a whole lot of you for mentioning the Patrick from Spongebob detail, and Aidan Schwartz for the Call of Duty 2 detail. If you want to support the channel further, as well as see your name in the credits and get access to videos early then check the links to my patreon in the description or become a youtube member by clicking the join button a big thank you to the following patrons and youtube members claire lawrence funky guy old gen gamer nicholas j twice djx gaming kevin hummett twice and taco 622 thank you all very much for watching and i'll speak to you all soon